name is uh, Kelly Moffitt and I'm the uh, coordinator of the uh, avionics program here at uh, the Norton Wolf School of Aviation. I'm actually also a professor in the uh, maintenance uh, department as well. Yeah, we offer a one-year maintenance program um, as well as a one-year avionics program uh, here at the Norton Wolf School of Aviation. Uh, we've just also just been approved for a three-year program which is the first two years is maintenance and the final third year is avionics. So what that could do is an advanced maintenance diploma and when they graduate from that, they can either become a maintenance uh, employee or they become an avionics employee. Um, we have starting in September an applied aerospace manufacturing program. It's a grad cert, it's a one year program uh, geared mainly to international students usually students that uh, have a engineering uh, degree of some sort when they come in and they learn about the uh, manufacturing and the industry of making airplanes within uh, the aerospace industry. Um, aviation right now is booming for jobs. There is uh, so many employers out there that are looking for skilled uh, students that come out of a program like this that know their way around an airplane, um, know the pitfalls of working on aircraft, um, as well as the safety that comes around them too as well. The co-op program we have both in the avionics and the maintenance program. Um, we have numerous companies that have uh, requested for co-ops, um, Air Georgian in Toronto, um, Air Canada in Toronto and Montreal and other bases that they've wanted people to go to as well. Diamond Aircraft again just down the street are looking for uh, co-ops. Um, New United Goddard's just outside of London here in Centralia is looking for people and we've had lots of companies contacting us uh, looking for co-op students and again for both the avionics and the maintenance. Uh, what we're proud of here at the Norton School of Aviation is that we do offer a 50-50 program and what that means is is that 50% of the class is in theory um, working looking at the content and the other 50% is out in the hangar working on actual aircraft. It's a six hour day, so again, three hours is theory and three hours is lab. My name is Ernest Miller. I am from Nassau, Bahamas, located in the Caribbean, and I'm taking aircraft maintenance. I hope to continue and becoming an aeronautical engineer afterwards. I feel that I'm prepared to go in the industry right now because I got a job offer uh, last year to work back home, and um, the hiring manager was very impressive, our curriculum, and I got a job offer, and hopefully that will last me until for at least two years, until I will be able to come back to Canada and work. My name is Cynthia Messidi, I'm from Nigeria, and I'm my second year in uh, aircraft maintenance engineer. I lived in Nigeria and also in Ghana, and then I just moved here. So my dad was a helicopter pilot, so I've really been interested in this field for a long time. There's lots of um, hands-on things, you get to learn a lot, and it's more hands-on, so like you know what you're doing, the professors know what they're doing, so it's okay. I, I was surprised how much I adapted, like um, the weather, the, the language, I mean English is our first language, but then it's also a little bit different. Do your research, know what you want, be sure this is the program for you, and come with a positive attitude ready to work because you have to have attendance and you have to be in class you have to get good grades so um we already learned that from back home so just come here and get right to work and make the people proud come with a winter jacket it's always cold and no uh it's an awesome college to study at i really recommend this school hey my name is mohammed nabil i'm from dubai and uh i go to fan shop for aircraft maintenance aviation technician which is a two-year program and uh, almost done in two months. Uh, the most surprising factor is uh, for me would be the, the amount of hands-on experience you get here because I've uh, done aerospace engineering back home and that was all basically technical information like you're always in class you don't really get to do any hands-on and then here what surprised me was you come here and you are in class for three hours and then you work on what you learned for the next three hours in the same day so it kind of gives you an idea of what you're doing and gives you a way better understanding of what you're working on and what you're supposed to be doing.